Welcome to Let's Talk Energy. Let's Talk Energy is a production of the National Energy Technology Laboratory. The Energy Lab is one of the U.S. Department of Energy's 17 national labs. Your host is Joe Culver. Joe and his guests will be discussing important energy challenges addressed at the Energy Lab and some of our important research achievements. The Energy Lab is where energy challenges converge and energy solutions emerge. We're at the Energy Lab today with Dr. George Richards, uh, most of his friends call him Geo. Dr. Richards recently was selected to win an important award from the American Society of Mechanical Engineers for research in the field of solid fuels. Now, Dr. Richards, what, what is the field of solid fuels? Well, solid fuels covers uh, really a lot of the things that we use in our society, general electricity particularly, and most notably coal. So this lab has been doing research on energy conversion using solid fuels like coal for a number of years, not just in its form as a solid fuel, but also by gasifying it, converting it to a gas phase. We can convert it to other chemicals. We can use it in advanced energy processes. And even today, an issue of great concern is how do we manage the carbon dioxide that's produced when we use that coal? Well, Dr. Richards, could we go and look at one of sure. the labs where your scientists and engineers do their work? Sure. We've come to the Thermogravimetric Analyzer Laboratory at the National Energy Technology Lab. Uh, Dr. Richards, what is this device we're at and how is it used? Joe, this is a thermogravimetric analyzer and uh, you know we're talking about solid fuels. What we're actually doing in this particular experiment is we're gathering data to study the conversion, in this case of a, a coal, and uh, you know it looks like that, I'm sure you're familiar. That coal is actually loaded into this uh, sample pan here. We bring the reactor up to cover that pan. That uh, coal is then reacted inside at high temperature with a metal oxide. And this is actually like burning a solid fuel, burning coal in this case. What's unique here is by reacting this with a metal oxide, which is something like iron oxide, call it rust, we take the oxygen from that iron and we burn the coal. The products are just carbon dioxide and water. That's very valuable to us because if we're interested in capturing carbon dioxide, the products of that reaction are heat that we can use to generate steam and create electrical power, water, which we can condense out just by cooling that stream, and then pure carbon dioxide. This process is known as chemical looping. It's very similar to what occurs in your body where you take in air, you react the air inside your body with hydrocarbons, essentially carbon and hydrogen, just like this sample of coal, and you create energy that you use for the things you need to do. So we're trying to replicate that uh, process here in a way that we can use it in a power plant to generate electricity. You showed us a little container of coal. Do you have some other kind of yeah. fuel we could use? Yeah. Uh, you know, people have talked recently a lot about biomass. This is a sample of switchgrass. It's a biomass that can be grown and harvested. And much like the coal I described a minute ago, it can react to create heat, produce electrical power. One of the things we're doing in this lab is analyzing how can we mix those different feedstocks to create fuels, to gasify them, which could then be converted to things like liquid fuels or plastics or other things that we need as a, as a nation. One of the big thrusts that we have right now is something they're calling carbon sequestration, uh, which would involve storing the carbon dioxide that's emitted, mm -hmm. probably in geological formations. Uh, would this, uh, would your approach make it easier to do that? Again, the, the reason we're working on this particular experiment is to develop a process, a new approach to using solid fuels like coal or biomass and put the carbon in a, the carbon dioxide in a form that's easily removed from the process and then sent to geologic storage. And so yes, the process I've described here is one we're trying to develop to address that very issue. You work at the National Energy Technology Laboratory, which we're starting to call the Energy Lab. Uh, can you describe a little bit how valuable the energy lab is to our nation? What this lab is doing is assessing technology options such as the one I've described to help us decide which options are economically viable, which can manage carbon dioxide, and use the abundant resources of coal uh, that are available in this country. So these are the important issues and that's why I think this work is so important.